this is kind of an oddball video for us, but Billy and I had to go get the trucks inspected this morning. <laughs> oh, you dumping stuff? Don't dump stuff in my I'm truck. Dump marinara sauce on your floor. No, I'm dumping marinara sauce in your head. Dip that little beard in there of yours. That little whiskey fever you got going on down there. Where'd yours go to? I shaved it off. I had a full goatee for days. Billy was like shaking his head every time he looked at me. He's like, I can't believe it. But uh, Where's yeah. Where's chicken out? Got a little too itchy. I just didn't like the way it looked. It all came in like full gray. Like, I mean, I got some grays up here for sure, but it came in full gray, like almost white. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not having that. People guess me like my mid thirties anyway, or early thirties to mid thirties. And I'm like, I kind of like that. I'm not, I'm not going to go full gray. I could have grew it in more and then combed in some just for men. Give me my marinara sauce. It's gray and white because you're an old fart. It's gray and white because of you, whippersnapper. What? No, I'm not. So anyway, we got trucks inspected because while we were doing the repairs to Billy's truck after he crashed it, I noticed, I'm like, dude, your inspection ran up the end of December. <laughs> I was like, you've been driving around with no inspection. He looks over and goes, yeah, well, yours runs up the end of this month. And I'm like, oh, crap. So I called my buddy. We went and got both trucks inspected this morning. And I was like, you know what we could do today since we ain't really got much to do? I said, we could get the crap cleaned up around the shop, in the shop, like the bed to the Ford Ranger, all the four brake systems from the open trailer I did last year, the step bars from his truck, the door we had to replace on his truck, all other kinds of crap. So I'm like, why don't we just throw it all in the dump trailer and make a run to the scrap yard? And then, you know, we might as well make a couple bucks off it and get this place freaking cleaned up while we have some downtime. So we actually got a lot of shit in the dump trailer here, but um, it didn't fill it up nearly as much as I thought. So I called my buddy Josh, I'm like, hey, that shop you took over, them old barns, you got any scrap you want to get rid of? At least make it worth a trip. He's like, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. If you guys want, you're more than welcome to come and pick through it all and take what you want. I was like, all right, sweet. So we had to stop and get some food. Now we're headed up there. And uh, I will keep you guys updated. I will show you the full load once we get loaded up. And then I will show you what it weighed out at. And I will uh, let you know what we made off of it. I don't even know how scrap prices are right now. They could be up, they could be down. But in the meantime, I got some pizza logs and I got some mac and cheese bites. Ever put mac and cheese bites in marinara sauce? Neither have I. Let's try them out. You know what they taste like? Oh. That's good. You know what they taste like? What? Fish sticks. If it was Natalie, she'd be dipping them in caramel sauce. Yeah. Or caramel sauce, however you say it. Or freaking whipped cream. She's ridiculous. Wow. That is pretty good. All right. We'll keep too. you guys updated. So we're loaded up, we got all kinds of things. Metal tables, tailgate to a truck, stove pipe, thing from a hose reel, smoker, old gas cans, all kinds of stuff. These boys are in this old barn over here. They're over here screwing around. There's Billy and Big Mike. Over there breaking stuff. <laughs> Look at our bike! Oh boy. Yeah. This old barn. Let's see what these boys are doing in here. Let me see. I bet you've never seen one of that TV before. I had some of them fucking. Yo, he smashed my TV. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Get on there, Greg. There's no chain. The chain popped off. The chain popped off. Hold up, hold up. We got Greg Lewis over here. It's not a wheelie machine. It hurts your nuts. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, what's over here? Is there a body right there? <laughs> is there bodies in here? There's a mummy under there. Oh, there could be a body in there. Dude, what if they're actually you guys on the. I didn't even know this day? was over here. I didn't know it was either. What if you guys just unroll it one day? And it's all kinds of. We standing on that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Ceiling coming through right there. That's good. The mice are building their own. It's all good stuff. There. We got an opening over here. Where does this go to? Nowhere. That's exactly where it goes. Nowhere. Outside. Oh, there's a back door over there. Bunch of weeds. I think it's just a wrapped up carpet. It is. 
Could be oh. a body in there. I thought that was a deer. That could be one of your axes. You want to go over there and kick it a couple times? <laughs> yeah. Don't jump on it. Don't wait, body wait, slam wait, it. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't that bad, Billy. She's a nice lady. <laughs> oh. oh. Wait. Never mind. Apparently, Mike found another one of his axes. <laughs> oh, boy. They're just in destruction mode now. Did she break the other one? No. There it is. Conrad's like, I want to break one. Wait, wait. Oh, oh Billy. All right. There's, there's more behind there. Back out to the opening. There is uh I have however acquired a new toy if I want it. Oh boy. So I have acquired a new toy if I want it. Josh told me if I want it, it's mine. You hit the pole start on it, and the pole's really nice, but it just won't fire up. I think some of the wiring is screwed up in it. But uh Looks like it is a Yamaha VMAX SX. Uh, last time it was inspected was 21. So a year ago, year and a half ago. So it ran about a year ago. But I think we might come up, come back up and pick this thing up. See if Billy and I can't get it started. So Josh is like, if you want it, it's yours. What do you guys think? Put it down, bloop, 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 down there in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, but uh, it's got a nice track on it. It's a really nice looking machine, but uh, I think this could be fun. You know us, we need another project, right? Always need another project. Let's get back out this door. Billy, I was showing everybody your new toy that Josh gave you. What the heck are you doing now? Riding wheelies with your feet down. Connor. Charlie Haskell or Connor Haskell? <laughs> Both are backwards. Oh boy. Okay, so apparently scrap isn't going for shit. We had, let's see here. We went in at 11,760 pounds. We left at 10,540, so we had 1,220 pounds. And we got eighty nine dollars and eighty six cents really yeah it's going for it says sheet iron 54 cents a pound or 54 cents a ton no it can't be at, oh it's 165 a ton and two thousand pounds is a ton and we had 1220 pounds Man, that wasn't crap. Good I'm, thing we're not in the scrapping business. I know, Fuck. I'm like, <gasps> Billy. You can't say that. Oh, Billy look, channel. The fire truck over there, lights on. Man, so scrap is for friggin' low, man. You, I Now I see why people stockpile piles of it. And, uh, then they take it all and they wait ones. until prices are up and then they take it in and scrap it all at once wait when the price are high and you know what that's probably a lot of people do that and that's probably why the prices go up because people are hoarding it all and they're not turning it in and then there's a need for scrap so then they raise the prices up to get people to bring it in that make a heck of a lot of sense but man that was uh that was kind of a crappy ordeal Ain't much. Up. I'll tell you what, the little girl that works at the front desk in there, <laughs> <laughs> she was a cutie, man. There's 40. I told you we'd split it. So 45 a piece would be 90. A little less. So there you go. You take the bigger half, Billy. There's 45 bucks. And I got 40, one, two, I got $44.86. So pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> couple dollars about enough to buy a cheeseburger uh, but whatever oh we need heavier stuff man that's what we need to do if we're ever gonna take a load of scrap again but mission accomplished the goal today was to clean up the shop and get all this scrap 
brake parts and all this other stuff out of there that we never have time to do. We always say we're going to do it during the season because it clogs up our shop. And, uh, and then we get so busy we never have time to do it. So we accomplished our goal for the day. And that was to clean up the <laughs> shop and get all the stuff out of there, which we did. So, and then we went and took some more stuff from Josh. But a lot of the stuff we got from Josh was really, really light. Like, it didn't yeah. weigh anything. It was all that metal piping and stuff. It was real thin walled and didn't have any weight to it. So, we got a bunch of stuff that was real heavy weight. Now, we have two trucks at the shop that need scrapped. The Ranger and Max's truck. So, if we can load them up and go get scrap value for them, what kind of intersection is this? Or we can call it for the GM plant. And, or we can call the Boneyard and see what they're paying for vehicles right now. And, heck, even if they're paying, they used to pay like 300, 400 bucks a vehicle. If we can just haul a couple of them over there and scrap them, that's two vehicles. That's 600 bucks right there. So, and it gets more crap out of the shop area. True. All right, well, that's all we got for now.